I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the? Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Come on! A friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Yo, get up! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! Ah! Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But <sighs> You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <clears throat> bastard. Exactly. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. That's a fine loss. Uncle. Morning, Arthur. How you doing? Tired. Well, some movement might wake you up. All right, then. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well... Look there. Hey, you might want to save some of those for the bear. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I might get in this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Shoot that thing, please! Look out! Over here, Arthur! You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> hey! Oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Right. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? Can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. 
Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? <laughs> well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. You're now on the man. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, blizzards have hearts. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Dare's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. That's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. What do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb. Lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I can. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Ew. A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? Dying. You wanna find out? I hate when people okay. underestimate my fastness. I'm fast. I'm so fast, you couldn't even comprehend how fast I am. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. Oh. Hey! Hey, you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Oh, you're done now. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's my horse. Just borrowing it. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. It was old Bob Crawford, an acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. 
Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. What are you doing? Get back on the road. Not bad at all. What are we doing off the road? This was easier than hunting a thousand pounds grizzly anyway. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Benedict Albright. Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. My mother's real sick. Oh, uh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist. Insist? This is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, you saved me! Now come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! <sighs> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. Oh, well, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Or, or what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come in! Uh, bye, friend! <sighs> really do not like you. I got across. <laughs> Swim to the edge. <laughs> Grab on to something. All right, try. <laughs> Keep your head above water. <laughs> Come here. Who made you God, friend? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <clears throat> I think I must be suffering. Suffer a little longer. Oh. Uh, you do seem to keep blacking out. <laughs> I'm a medical man. A healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. It's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. But you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten it. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! There he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, well, you're about pal. to kiss that guy Take and punch it easy, him. Huh? Oh, and we have our answer! Let me hear you! Charles, 
Go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. There, look. I think that's our boat. Carol! Right, Get them stick together, Carol! What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild. Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. There's Charles on the other side. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Let's, go. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Beside myself. I if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! <laughs> What do you do? Jesus! Okay, let's get after him. What was that? A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Is he alive still? We're gonna have to shoot our way up the... You take the right. I'll go left. Okay. God damn it! This shot's bound. Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Still time. Look, they're running away. Okay. <coughs> Let's get Sean. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh, uh. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? <laughs> okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine you all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. And don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <sighs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. You okay? Uh -oh. Gonna be a good night. I just can't get rid of you, can I? When's this going to end? Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak. 
about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him! Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. <laughs> You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dutch said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Williamson, Williamson. What, Morgan? Just to say, well, even you can't screw up killing O'Driscoll's. Funny. And I guess you're good here. Unless some soft-handed feller comes along and tells you you've gone too far. What are you talking about? Fighting that big bullock up in Valentine? How wise you think beating a man to death would have been? With all them folks looking on, when we supposed to be laying low. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. Uh, I'll take it. After all, you are an authority on not being clever. The captive gets a little cough in his throat, looks at you with some big doe eyes. You gonna let Comb go free? I was fighting Comb when you was pretending to fight Indians. Don't call my record into question. It's your abilities that call your record into question, Bill. You know... You all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? Yeah, well, I'd, what? I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? What this is hell? why you're an old Driscoll, old Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Arthur, look out. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? What was that, huh? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember. I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Hey, go to work. He's down. Time to move on him. As I'll ever be. Let's go. How you doing up? Don't run away from me! You're a worthless O'Driscoll hides! Oh, O'Driscoll! Where are you? You alright? Sure. Thank you.
Thank you. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. I normally don't talk in videos, but the music I'm using is like the one track out of the whole Red Dead Redemption 2 soundtrack that gets copyrighted. So I'm going to just talk over it because I'm too lazy to change it. We love turtles. Normally, I don't hate missions, but this mission I hate the most. See, I slide down. Oh, did my horse die? No, guess who died? It's Jamie. He died. How did he die? Now, that's just cruel. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? The boy has chosen a path, sir. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? Turtles! I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then... Make up your mind! Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! Come on, you ain't stupid! You can see this is crazy! You're the crazy one! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! God. Something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... Turtles! Um... This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you 
taught me how to ride a horse. Well, apparently, you Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>